In Creole Parametric, you have the capability to configure options and variants to support the assemble to order and configure to order manufacturing strategies. And here I have an example of an overloaded bill of materials or overloaded bomb that is going to be the basis for generating my different options and variants. If you take a look at the model tree, I'm going to turn on my magnifier real quick. In the model tree, at the top, I have this different symbol for the assembly, and that is for a configurable product. And inside of here, we have other symbols for different assemblies in the configurable product. And these are configurable modules. Let me turn that off. And the way that you set up this is with using what's called the options modeler license. And if you're unsure if you have it, you can go to file and then help and system information and you can see which licenses that you have and you might want to do this just to see that you might have some licenses that you don't expect and because i have the basic options modeler license and not the advanced i have the ability to set up an overloaded bomb but i can't generate my different variants if you take a look in the ribbon the assigned choices icon is grayed out and the variant builder is grayed out and so is the ability to apply variant specifications which would be the result of configuring the product to your specifications let's take a look here in the model tree and first i have this motor module assembly and inside of it you can see that we've got these two components over here engine b and engine a and this is a lot like an interchange assembly in Creo Parametric. And you'll notice for engine B, it's got this little star next to the icon, which means that is the option that is applied in the current module variant. And I can right click on the other engine and from the mini toolbar, choose to make engine A active. And you get this affected children dialog box where you can specify, hey, what are the children affected by this operation? Uh, and you can choose all, none, or selected. And usually you, just, you can just click OK out of this dialog box. And now you can see that the engine A has a little star next to it, indicating that it is the active model variant. And we have this column in the model tree for the different assignments. And so with options and variants, what you're going to do is set up these different choices. For example, let's say that someone wanted to buy this motorcycle. They could choose for the power choice, whether they wanted the 450cc version or the 125cc version. And I just changed to activate the lower, less powerful engine. And we've got some other different assemblies in here that are configurable products. So for example, we have the frame and you have either the long frame or the short frame for the size choice. And you'll notice for some of these other configurable modules, they are also set up for long or short. So for example, for the rear arm module over here, you could either have the wide one or the standard. We have a rear shock, and this is a regular assembly. So this particular assembly appears in all the different uh, variants. And you're, there you can see it highlighted in the graphics area. But we also have choices for the style, whether it's road or off-road. Again, we have the size choice over here. Here we have one component, a regular part that's assembled in here, and it's not configurable, but it is associated with different choices, whether you are having headlights and whether you are using the, uh, uh, what choice was that? Uh, whether it's road or not. And then when I hover over it, you can see where it's included and where it's excluded. And we have a few other different configurable modules in here for the fuel tank, and you can see the different choices in there. And then again, we have size. And then here's the muffler, which is appearing in all of them. And so you could take a look at all these different choices, and based on these, a person could come up with a lot of different configurations. And the nice thing about options and variants, it prevents you from creating all those different variations up front. You can do it when the customer customer makes the choice, and then you could generate the variant using the variant builder, and then you would have your configured product, and then you could generate the bill of materials, and then 
go off and assemble that particular product. And just show you a couple other different things with options and variants. If I go to the new button over here and choose the assembly, over on the right hand side we have the subtype and most people never ever even look at this area when they are creating new assemblies but usually you're making a regular design assembly here's that interchange assembly that i mentioned earlier and i have a couple videos on creating interchange assemblies but we also have these radio buttons here for configurable module and configurable product now i know that I have this because I have that advanced assembly extension license, but I'm not sure if the basic options modeler also comes with the Creo Essentials license. So you might have it, you might not. But here's where you could choose if you wanted to create a configurable module, and here is a configurable product if you wanted to create them. And I'll show how to do these in other different videos. Here is a second example of a configurable product, and this obviously is a washing machine. This data set's actually courtesy of Whirlpool, so thank you very much, Whirlpool. I wanted to show you one method that I use to cheat around the fact that I don't have the advanced license of Options Modeler. You can see in the model tree that we have a configurable uh, module for the housing, the drum, the cover, the panel, the door, so forth and so on for various different objects. There are a few standard assemblies. So for example, the damper assembly appears in all the different variations of it. And I wanted to see what the deluxe configuration looked like. So what I usually do is hide all the other different choices that you have in a configurable module aside from the one that I'm interested in and that way I can see that particular variation and if I want to change it up well I'll just hide the one that's in there and show another one so for example for the different panels right now I have the deluxe round panel being shown but I can select it and then hide and maybe I want to see what the straight panel looks like in that place and obviously I can see that oh wait you know if I'm using the square configuration I obviously need to change to the door as well so instead of using a round door let me hide that one and let's try the square glass instead and I can see okay yeah that's good maybe I have something else wrong because I see a gap there that I probably should not but Again, it's one way around not having the ability to use the variant builder or apply different variant specifications to see what the different configurations of the configurable product look like. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.